What's going on guys, McSkillet here with another video and today I've got yet another video on the weapon that many people despise, many people love. Uh, I think most people seem to despise it at this point, but uh, it is the R8 revolver. I'm going to be doing a video on these stickers on it. Oh, that VAC ban right there. But anyway, um, I think the gun was actually nerfed today. I haven't tried it out in matchmaking yet, but I've heard it's not nearly as good as it used to be. So maybe people will stop complaining so much now. But I still wanted to do a video on the sticker stuff on it because it's actually pretty cool. The stickers work on it. And I'm going to be showing off some really expensive stickers on it as well. So um, the unique thing about this gun is it actually has five sticker spots. There isn't any other guns in CSGO that are like that. You can have two on the cylinder and um, four or like three on the other parts of the gun. And as you can see, you could actually it actually rotates when you shoot it. So you could have um, different stickers on the cylinder and it'll actually change um, when you're shooting it, which is quite unique. There isn't any other skins like that. And um, I saw some people discussing, uh, they wanted to see what a revolver looked like with the expensive stickers on it, like the Titan hollows and the I by Power hollows. And um, one of my friends actually figured out a way to um, mod your stickers so you can test out like I by Power hollows and uh, Titan hollows in game. <clears throat> and um, yeah, I've actually got gameplay of um, three revolver skins with um, I by Power hollows, Titan hollows, and uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about with these stickers, these stickers on the skin right here are like um, over $600 each. Actually, I've seen some selling that like what would be like $800. Um, basically in keys. It's, it's just absolutely insane how expensive these stickers are. And um, one other thing to note when you're putting stickers on the R8 revolver is the sticker in the very front for some reason gets really shrunk. It's like half the size as the other ones, which um, I don't really know why. I guess otherwise it wouldn't fit on the gun, um, but otherwise it's pretty cool. I don't actually see why they even have a slot there because it's kind of weird how it has five sticker spots and one's really tiny. But um, this is what the fade one looks like, and this is uh, probably the coolest combination I um, was playing around with with the expensive stickers. This is a factor new um, revolver. Crimson Web that has four of the Iron Power Hollows on it and a Titan Hollow on the backside. So as you guys can see here, when I'm shooting it, it actually switches stickers, which is really cool. The stickers on this gun are quite unique. And um, if you're going for like a good combo that's actually cheap, of course, any of the combos I'm showing in this video are really impractical because they're so expensive. I just wanted to show these off because it's um, not too many people, or pretty much no one is going to put an Iron Power Hollow on a Magnum or I mean a revolver, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I, I would suggest putting stickers on the cylinder part because it's really cool how it like switches. You could actually have two stickers there and um, that's probably the coolest place and best place to put the stickers on. Some of the other spots look a little weird like in the front. Not a big fan of the sticker there, but uh, stickers on the cylinder, probably the best spot to put whatever sticker you want there. Um, there's, I don't, haven't seen any two stickers that look bad there pretty much. Um, kind of makes the gun look better. But as you can see, this last skin for the video is the um, Souvenir Amber Fade, or what it might look like. No one really knows because no one's unboxed it yet. And um, I'm starting to think that it doesn't actually exist and I've wasted a bunch of money trying to unbox it because um, I've heard some rumors that cases are predetermined. I don't know if that's actually true or not. I don't know if there's any evidence or I don't really know how you'd be able to prove that. But I've seen some people try to argue that cases are predetermined, which may be the, may, may be the case. You might have to wait till the next major to actually be able to unbox the souvenir amber fade revolver but if someone managed to unbox that it might look somewhat similar to this except with the new major stickers but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um this is definitely some crazy combinations that you wouldn't be able to see too much did a lot of game editing editing to show these off to you guys and um yeah that's pretty much it for the video guys and i'm mcskillet and i'm out